Jabs are the weakest punch in a fighter's arsenal, and thus, to see knockout from this punch is the rare sight to see. The guys who get put down with this type of hit will also get a hit to their reputation, as they were knocked out with what is not known as a power punch. If you feel like helping me out, please like this video as it makes a huge difference. Also, subscribe so you know when I post more videos. Let's get into it. I think we all know that Lucas Matisse had freakish power, getting 36 knockouts in his 39 victories, and in his fight against Tewa Kiram, he put it on full display. He dropped Kiram the first time with a 1-2 combination, but the jab is what did the real damage. Kuram really likes to play up the knockdown, sprawling all over the ground, taking what appears to be a good relaxing rest. The knockout happened in the 8th round, coming from a jab that just beat Kuram's combination. It was a bit of a delayed reaction, but once the referee saw his eyes, he immediately ended the fight at the count of 3. Sergei Kovalev is known for having a great jab and likes to many times finish his combinations with jabs and they have a little more power than most other guys jabs. And he's got a few knockouts with jabs in his career. Early on, when he was undefeated having 19 knockouts in 21 fights, he obliterated Cornelius White in just 3 rounds. He battered White in the first two rounds with power punches and eventually dropped him three times in the third round with a jab putting him down twice. The power of Kovalev. And now he does, he's down! Kovalev has knocked down White! That was the first really stiff jab that dropped him. And then he finished the fight with a jab, but this time it was more of a lunging jab trying to reach a quickly retreating White. Find a way to make it out of this round if he's going to stick around. That's he's it. on the run, Kovalev puts him down! Kovalev was known for a while as having one of the best jabs in boxing, and well, we'll see him again. I think that this is my favorite jab knockout and it comes from Elvis Rodriguez as he lays out Danny Murray almost flying out of the ring. At the time you can set traps, you being a fighter, you can, you know, you can slowly drop, oh wow. Rodriguez lands the left hand and waits as Murray sees that it's only one punch combination, so he drops his hands and that's when the sneaky jab comes in that Murray was not expecting at all. It was such a weak punch, like it was an afterthought by Rodriguez, but that was enough to finish this fight. Murray is grabbing his face, like maybe something got broken, which would make this jab even more rare. Jamil McClain looks like a combination between Bob Sapp and Daniel Cormier, and against Magomed Abdusulamov, he went down from a jab and never got back up again. Uh, <laughs> McLean put up a good fight, even dropping Abdul Sulamov once, but once he got dropped by the jab, the crowd and even his opponent were kind of shocked that he went down and even more stunned when he didn't make the count. The punch was just a perfect shot at the right time, as McLean was moving his head towards the jab and it completely surprised him, taking his feet away from him. Robert Hawkins is a rare fighter that launched himself right into Volodymyr Virch's jab and kind of knocked himself out. Hawkins telegraphed that left hook so much and didn't even attempt a setup jab, instead dropping his right hand all the way down. What was Volodymyr supposed to do? Not land the faster straight left hand? Catching Hawkins totally unprepared, knocking him out? It was there. All he had to do was put the left hand out and he would do the job for him. CP Freshmart was the up and coming boxer fighting against journeyman August Custioan, and the journeyman tried to put up a good effort, but the young fighter was way too much for him, dropping him early and then finishing him with a jab in the fourth round. They both threw the jab, but Freshmart's was more accurate and much stronger. It's almost like Agus didn't want to keep going and just went down. Either that or the jab caused his left leg to move like it was constricting from getting a shock. The referee did stop the fight pretty fast after seeing how he was behaving on the ground, so maybe it was legit. Here is Sergei Kovalev again, this time defending a championship belt against Anthony Yardy. Kovalev was winning the fight, clearly, but in the 8th round he almost got upset by Yardy who would have shocked the world, but somehow Sergei survived. He is going for broke! He's lost every round to here, but now Yard is trying to knock. In that effort to finish Kovalev, Yardy emptied his tank and Kovalev's grit showed itself as he came back and started battering an exhausted Yardy, eventually finishing him with a straight single jab. And another. Oh, he's gone. He's gone. It was the last.
That jab lifted Yardy off the ground, showing that Kovalev has a damn right powerful straight left hand that terrified fighters for a really long time. We have to include the knockout of Kell Brook by the amazing Terence Crawford, since Kell Brook fought Triple G and took some brutal shots but stayed up until the 5th round. Crawford though, he basically knocked him out with a jab in the 4th round. So this was clearly not the end of the fight. It would have been if the ref didn't give the knockdown as he didn't actually go down, but the ropes did stop him from dropping so they counted it. Crawford's jab was such a sneaky punch, just coming around Brooks' own setup jab, landing right before Kell's straight right hand, basically catching him by complete surprise. This shows that if you're not ready for a shot, you will get hurt badly, as the jab was also pretty short, but it twisted Brooks' head. Liam Williams dominated Chris Karslaw, beating him in the second round. He dropped him early in the first round with a body shot that is rare to see affect a fighter that early in a fight. It's great boxing tradition north of the border, of course, but it's looking good for the Welsh when he lands one. Carr's lot was apparently still cold coming out into the second round as he got caught with a jab to the temple, and that caused the most devastating knockout we have seen today. It's for Liam Williams, the back end of 2014. Oh, no. good left hand again. If a fighter lands straight on his face, the fight will almost always be stopped immediately, especially if they don't put their hands down to catch themselves. Nigel Benn was a crusher who started his career with 21 straight knockout victories, but that ended when he came against Michael Watson, who not only took his greatest shots, he took that zero from him. This fight has to be the number one because the amount of power shots that each fighter took is amazing. They hurt each other tons of times, but the fight was ended by a jab that seemed to be lackluster with a delayed reaction. Oh, he's gone. So, the big has been... These guys were swinging with all their might. Each shot was a knockout punch, but Ben's undefeated record was ended by an actual jab. They both landed the jab at the same time, but Ben's power button was pressed and he slowly went down, kind of like a robot being powered down. Do you think that there's any shame in being knocked out by a jab? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching this video. See you next time.